Hey all, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a single layer PCB. So normally a PCB has a top layer and a bottom layer, but sometimes at home you've got a CNC machine or you want to do it the old fashioned way of etching with the acid. Um, then we have to kind of make a single layer board, that means the tracks will only be on one layer and your components will be only on one layer. So this can get quite difficult when you have tracks intersecting one another, uh, and it's just not a, enough space. So in this video, I'll give you five tips that will help you be, to be able to make a single layer board in KiCad. So the board I'm going to use as an example for this video is just a board I made a while ago with the 80 Mega 328P IC with some IC that I can measure some weight with. And I've got a Bluetooth chip here, HM10, so I can connect a Bluetooth app to it. The voltage regulator that we spoke about earlier that is just a simple board. I won't get too much details about the board. It's just about how to make a one layer PCB. So when you look at the PCB, you can see the components. Are, there's quite a lot of components for a small surface. So you straight away want to use a two layer board. But if you are etching at home, like I mentioned, or using a CNC machine, sometimes you just want to have a one layer board and you'll try what you can to make a one layer board. So I'm going to show you guys tips and tricks to get a one layer board in this scenario. So let's see what we can do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose either VCC or ground as a copper pore on top. So that I at least have one signal that is throughout the top of my board. So let's say in this example I want it to be ground. As you can see I'm currently actually working on the bottom layer with the green. So I'll choose that. Choose add fill zone and then I will pour it. Choose ground and then I make my nice square. Double click and now you can see all my ground is connected on top and what is not ground is not connected. So there you can see ground is connected, things like that. So to hide the copper pour I just push the button on the left and it's gone. So it's still there but it's just easier to root with the not showing. Save. <laughs> Always save guys. So let's start routing and see where the trouble starts coming. First thing I will do is I would just try to connect as much as I can um, without any worries. So the ground I will leave because I've got a ground copper pore. So now I would just go see where I've got nice victories. Um, it's going to be tough guys, uh, but I'll show you guys tips and tricks what to do. Can we squeeze in here? No, we can't. There's no need to have components too far away from signals. So we make sure they are nice and close. The closer they are, the less we have to root. And don't worry if you start rooting and you see a better path later on. This is just to see what we can connect, make it neat later. Um, a one layer board is always a bit more difficult. So don't be scared to move in and out. So this is way too far from my I see here, yeah. so decoupling capacitor is always close. D is to move your signals quite nice, so just push D and move. Like I said, this is not necessary to connect because ground and them is already connected, but well, it's just nice to connect. And allow the program to help you out um, to squeeze in where you need to squeeze in. So you can go between resistors, that's a nice trick to have. Make use of that. This looks ugly, but like I said, we'll fix it later. So now you can see I'm getting pretty stuck. Um, there's lines that I can't go past because this line is actually blocking this one. So I would normally use a buyer and just go down. So my tips are as follows. Make sure that your components are not too far away from the signals. So you can see these two want to go to that pin. So why do I put it here? Why don't I just take it to where it wants to go. So I will try to find a way to get it over here. It might be a bit difficult, but let's try. If we go 3D, we'll see it's not too bad. That's fine. So it will fit. So now we can just go directly to it. We don't have to. So keep so tip one is keep your components as close as possible to the the signals it needs to go to. So try to keep your signals as short as possible, especially for single 
single layer board. Another trip is <laughs> trip. Another tip is to make sure or use your resistors as a gateway. As you can see, I'm going underneath resistors to get through this signal. So this signal on top, I kind of intersect it, sect it, or I cut it in half with a resistor. So use bigger resistors. A good one is maybe a 1206. The 1206 is much bigger than 0603, so you can actually get two signal lines under a 1206. So that will allow you to go underneath them, or through them, should I say, and cut tracks in half and make use of them like going underneath. So that is my tip too. What you can do is these 1206s, these 0603s, you can change to 1206s on the schematic. So if I go here, double click, uh, not the name on the component, we double click or push E. So you can see the footprint. So it, once we click on, click on the library symbol, we can see 1206, 1210. So these are quite nice and big. So let's take this one and we just double click, copy this because I want every single resistor and capacitor to be like this. So I can just paste it there and do all, even the capacitors. So this symbol is the same for resistors and capacitors. Let's just see how it looks. So if I go tools, update, I say update footprint, reassociate, and now it's going to update all my capacitors. You can see they are quite big. So I'm going to have to move it around a bit to make space. Um, this one's not there anymore. So like you can see, they are much bigger. Um, so just, just move them around, see where they fit. I would do this before I start routing. Just make my capacitors as big as the board allows. This will give me space to maneuver underneath. So now that we have this trick, trick, let's delete all the tracks. So we go File, or Edit, sorry, Global Deletion, and delete the track. So we start over. Yes. So you can see everything's away. So let's make sure our resistors are not on top of each other. But now you can see the space in between here. Now you can get two tracks there instead of one. Now I've rooted a couple of tracks, and I realize, okay, I'm getting a bit tired, getting a bit difficult. So now it's the net, my tip number three. Use your own resistors as jumpers. So like we did with cap capacitors and resistors we already used, or we already had on the board, now we can put our own zero ohm resistors to create the path that we need. What I mean about that is, let's take this for example. So this 3 volt 3 is in my way for my SCK, my clock, to go all the way to the right hand side there. It's blocking me. So if I can put a zero ohm resistor in this track, on this path, I can go through it. So we need to find out where this is in our schematics. If I click on it, it should highlight it. It's over there. So if I can put a zero ohm resistor here, I copy it. So this can maybe be a, a zero, a 603 or 1206. It doesn't matter depending how much you need. And I just put a zero ohm there. Let's see what size it is. I think for this I only need 0603. And I go Tools, Update. At first wants me to annotate. Tools, Annotate Schematic, Annotate. Tools, Update, Reassociate. Boom, there we go. Don't worry about the LED. And now, so this, you can see it comes here. So if I delete this, make sure everything is on one layer. F for Flip, it's locked. And then I go there, and then I go there. So I created a portal now. So if I go here, I can go through there, and then out here, and then back here. I go up here maybe. But now I can get to that place. So my tip number three is use resistors as pathways as well, zero ohm, wherever you need to cross. So maybe here yeah, I should use a 1206 because I can actually go through two tracks. So let's make this a 1206. You can see it got a bit bigger now, but that's fine. No problem. This one can go through there. So those are my tips for today, guys. So if you want a one layer board, then make one layer 
either ground or VCC, your copper pour on top. Place your components as close as possible to one another so you keep the tracks the shortest. Make your resistors as big as possible because you can use the resistor as a pathway through tracks. And if you don't have resistors, add zero ohm resistors, create your own path. Those are the tips I would use to make a single layer board. Let's see if I can finish this. So that is our tips and tricks on how to make a single layer board in Geekat. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you use the copper plane, the copper bore for either your ground and VCC. This will allow you to connect different places on the board without any tracks. Uh, make your resistors bigger than normal. So instead of 0603, use a, a 1206 and then you can use the tracks in between the resistors to cross tracks and that will help you. Uh, tip three is make sure that your components are as close as possible to where the tracks have to go. So keep your tracks as short as possible. Tip four is make use of the board. <laughs> make the board bigger if you have to. Uh, yeah, so don't, if you can make the board bigger, always just make your board bigger. It's easy as that. Um, so you have more space for your tracks and components. Tip five is even if you don't need resistors, you can add zero ohm resistors on your board in signals to create that jump you need. So when you have a track or a line in schematic, just add a resistor of zero ohm, 1206 or 0603, depending how many tracks you need to jump underneath other tracks, and that will help you a lot. Uh, so those are five tips and tricks that will make it easy for you guys to make a single layer board, uh, either CNC machine or etching. Uh, you can watch more about our KiCad videos, uh, yeah so we've got a whole playlist of about 28 videos just on keycad and uh, hopefully that helps guys if this has been helpful for you please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye